And he wrote about this year. The Mets are considering a pursuit of Justin Verlander because they feel the Rangers are serious suitors for DeGrom. Are the Mets just waiting on DeGrom here, or are they going to go after Verlander for real? They're waiting on DeGrom in a sense. I mean, they're talking to his camp. It's not like just waiting. There's dialogue for sure. And they want DeGrom, don't get me wrong. But as we've talked about before, they're not necessarily going to go to a four-year deal with DeGrom. They're not sure that it's going to take that yet, but they have their limits and they know that they need, would need to replace him at the top of the rotation. So one thing they've talked about is Justin Verlander. Now, in talking to Mets people about this a little bit, it's a little bit like, well, what's a, what's a better bet? DeGrom at 34, like health-wise. DeGrom right. at 34 coming off of two seasons where he's had a hard time getting off the mound, uh, getting on the mound, or Verlander turning 40 but coming off a of Cy Young year. It's like, ah, uh, that's a really tough Because you're talking call. about similar per year, but obviously DeGrom more who years. Who do you count on? Who do you count on to pitch next year and the year after that more? The guy who's 40 but he's pitching great or the guy who pitched great several years ago but is 34? That's what they have to weigh. What do you tough think? Call. What do you think, Todd? you like the idea? Look, I, I think it's a good idea to pursue Verlander. I do think that age has to play a factor at some point in the mathematics and the calculus, and you do have to to believe that Jake comparative uh, to Verlander head to head Jake's going to have more upside left he has had issues getting on the mound it doesn't seem like it was with his arm last season and I think the um, the scapula that healed he looked strong he looked ready to go he's indicated that his arm is healthy so you've got to get a little bit of a lean that way but I think it's smart to pursue Verlander as not a backup because you're not going to say he's ever a backup but in case you do lose the Rom, you want another first line guy. It's just going to be interesting if, in fact, that happens and you have two guys 38 plus leading your rotation. Mm -hmm. You've got to wonder if those guys are both going to be able to make enough starts to really make their value count. Yeah, and kind of like Terry said before, I want the guy who wants to be here. If DeGrom wants to be here, I trust him more so than Verlander. But if he doesn't, then you know what? Verlander, not a uh, bad plan B. Let's bring back Terry Collins. Terry, you like the idea here of the Mets going after Verlander? I do. I, I think exactly what those guys were just talking about. Hey, look, you got to protect yourself. You know, and, and you you realize, you know, you're, you've lost a, two or three starting pitchers, and you know what? If Jake goes someplace else, you can't get caught with your pants on. You've got to you've got to have some place some things in line. So, you know what? If Justin Verlander said, "Look, I want to pitch in New York. I'd love to pitch back in the National League." Uh, you know, uh, so. Okay, I want to be a New York Met, and he, they signed it. You know, you got to protect yourself because you you can't wait till Jake says, "Oh no, you know what? I, I'm going to go to Texas," and Verlander's re-signed someplace else. Now you're really in trouble.